Hello, it's Weekend Handicapper from WeekendHandicapper.com. In this video, I'm giving you my picks and analysis for this year's Haskell Stakes at Monmouth Park, which is Saturday, July 18th. It's, a, believe it or not, a Kentucky Derby prep race. So we're on the road to the Kentucky Derby since the Derby's been moved from May to September. The Haskell becomes a Kentucky Derby prep race, which is kind of fascinating. Always love playing Haskell Day. Always love playing the card on this particular day at Monmouth Park. It's a lot of fun, a lot of races, 14 races, I think. Uh, six or seven of them are turf races. So it should be a fun day of betting and plenty of action if you like to bet a lot of races on one particular card. Uh, speaking of Monmouth Park, I was impressed. I was there about four years ago, went up to New Jersey. And, you know, I'm thinking big city like New York and, uh, you know, industrial and just really like concrete everywhere. But Oceanport, beautiful, beautiful area. I went up. I'm a big Bruce Springsteen fan. So I was, wanted to see a bunch of sites, Bruce Springsteen related sites. Went to Freehold, Asbury Park. Enjoyed my time there on the boardwalk and on the beaches, nice beaches. I, I, I love the scenery. Went to Atlantic City, too. I love the scenery and the people were super nice to me up there. It's, it's funny when you either I play guitar. I got a, always got a guitar right here by me. So whether I'm carrying a guitar around or a camera around, people always come up to you and talk to you. It's the craziest thing. And when I was up there in New Jersey... I had met a lot of good people and and some people I stay in touch with. But Monmouth Park, I enjoyed it. It was a nice track, nice area. So I really enjoyed it. So have nothing but good things to say about Monmouth Park and Haskell Day. So speaking of Haskell, let's get to it. Race number 12. And if you want the full card, if you want uh, the best plays of the day, different exotic tickets, I'll put the link in the description below. Or you can check out WeekendHandicapper.com. So race number 12 on Saturday, July 18th at Monmouth Park. It's the Haskell. And I'm going to go, it's a field of seven. I'm going to go one by one. And at the end of the video, I'm going to give you my picks and different wagering strategies for this uh, year's Haskell. Field of seven. We're going a mile and an eighth on the dirt. Number one, Dr. Post came in second at the Belmont. So it could be coming into his own, this horse. Definitely a contender. So uh, slowly this horse has been improving. It might improve still. But can it improve enough to take out the number two horse? Authentic. Bob Baffert. Here we go. Heavy favorite again. Seem like most weeks when I do these derby prep races, I'm talking about heavy favorites from Bob Baffert. This one's four to five morning line. My gosh. It's won three of the four races. It's going to be tough to beat. That's for sure. All right, number three, Jesus' team, 15 to 1, improving. Last two speed figures were this horse's best. Now it's stretching out, and it's facing better competition. So that's probably why you're getting that 15 to 1 morning line. Is it in over its head? That's something to try to figure out. Number four, Ancient Warrior. Speaking of trying to figure out, here we go. If you watch one of my best plays videos, one of them, of the many that didn't come through, this horse, number four, Ancient Warrior, was a part of one of those. It's 20 to 1 morning line. Uh, the last time it ran, I liked the horse. It was one of my best plays. I thought it had a really good shot at a chance at Churchill. That was on June 14th at Churchill Down Race 9. Didn't have a good start at all, so I was looking forward to betting this horse again the next time it raced. I would have never assumed or figured that the next race would be the Haskell. Whew. So it's interesting that this horse is in there. I guess just taking the shot, but I'm conflicted because I thought that horse had a terrible start, but it finished really good. So in a similar spot, I wanted to bet that horse back. But my gosh, this is the grade one Haskell stakes. And that was a optional claimer at six and a half furlongs. So I, I don't know what to think. Uh, we'll see. It's just interesting that this four horse ancient warrior is in the field. Uh, number five, I think it's fame. The famous, I think it is. It's a turf horse, turf horse at 30 to one. 
I just don't know why this horse is in there other than to take a shot to try to get into the Kentucky Derby. So that's that's the only thing I can figure on why this horse is in there. So whether or not this horse wins, I seriously doubt it. But hey, I just I got to figure out why it's in there. Fame the famous number five. I'm gonna pass on it though. Number six, here we go again. This seemed like a theme. Here's another horse that I backed, which this time, number six, Lebda. It was coming off a layoff. It was entered into the Ohio Derby, which wasn't too long because it was a couple weeks ago. It disappointed me, though. I, I thought this horse would have the good early speed to, to be a contender, and it didn't, it didn't do well at all. Now, all of a sudden, it's back in the Haskell trying again. Uh... I don't know if this is the spot for this horse either. So I'm conflicted about that one because I had a lot of faith in the horse. And then all of a sudden you're going from that race to this race, the Haskell. I don't know. They're just, I think if I can just try to assume things, they're just trying to get into the Kentucky Derby, taking a shot. Can't blame anybody for that. Number seven, New York traffic. It's a contender, came in second in the Matt Wynn Stakes which I had a win bet on it, uh, got overtook in the stretch. So hopefully this horse is always consistent. You know, I have, have a lot of respect for this horse. So it's at least use it in your exactus. All right. So it's a short field, field of seven. That's the field. So you got, here's how I'm looking at it. The most probable winners are going to be either the one Dr. Post or the number two authentic. That's probably... You know, this, this race typically produces chalk or short price horses. So there we go. You got number one or number two. I think if you want to take a shot or look for more value, number seven, New York traffic should be the horse to try to try to get it done. But uh, it's going to be a tall task. Then I'm conflicted, like I was saying, with the number four horse, Ancient Warrior, and number six. I was looking forward to betting them or at least number four back. But both of these horses, I might give the slight edge to number six, Lebda, who might be more qualified in this field versus the number uh, four horse, Ancient Warrior. But man. But I think it simply comes down to number one, Dr. Post, number two, Authentic, or number seven, New York Traffic. I'm tired of the chalk. That's, that's why I don't get too excited about stakes races. Because they produce a lot of chalk and short price favors. It's rare that you get really good payouts. I could be wrong, but I doubt it in this race. So if, if you're trying to beat the favorite, heavy favorite, authentic, probably the number one Dr. Post or the number seven New York traffic. I'm not telling anybody any, anything enlightening, that's for sure. Are the exact as trifectas worth playing in a field of seven? Probably not when... You're probably going to have two logical horses win. So probably just a nice win bet on New York traffic just to say I bet the Haskell and try to uh, overcome the number one and the number two authentic. So probably not going to get too creative here. I would love to hear who you you know. Now what I'm going to, I'm just curious on how the number four ancient warrior and number six is going to do, especially the number four ancient warrior. If that horse somehow wins, I'm going to be kicking myself because I promised myself I was going to bet that horse the next time it ran. Didn't know it was going to be the Haskell and I, I just can't see it fitting in this field. It's going to have to improve big time and take a huge step up in class. So I doubt that's going to happen. So I'm going to save a few bucks. If it wins, I'll be disappointed, but I, I can't make a case for the horse in this race. So New York traffic, going to take a shot with them, but not too big of a bet because the number one or number two should have this race in the books. All right. I would love to hear who you're going to pick in the Haskell if you play. Also, I like a horse, best play of the day, race four. You got the number five horse, Visionary Ruler, I think has a shot to win at an okay price. It's eight to one morning line. So there's going to be plenty of value and better races to bet on Haskell Day 
not it probably won't be the Haskell race, but you got 14 races to choose from, all these turf races, you're going to find some long shots. You're going to get paid probably on Saturday, July 18th, if you play Monmouth Park. But race number four, number horse number five, Visionary Ruler, could be one of those that produces some value. So if you play, best of luck to you. And again, if you want the full card selections, if you want the exotic tickets, I'll put a link in the description below. I'll put the uh, visit. You can visit weekendhandicapper.com. If you like these videos, hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you can get all the latest tips, tools, and resources to help you win money on throwback horse races. And until next time, happy Haskell Day, happy handicapping, and smart wagering.